Welcome back to the channel today. We are looking at shipbuilding and how to build the Millennium Falcon in game. There are lots of videos on this, but I wanted to put it up for guys who might not have seen it. Before we get into it, though, hit the like button, subscribe, all of that good stuff. But one thing I am going to show you and tell you is things that other people wasn't explaining properly because when I was looking through at all the builds and stuff, I was like, how the hell do you get this stuff? One of the things you have to do is visit the ship technicians on each planet and where they are. I'll link down below with an article to show you which systems they're in. But when you go to them, like there's one obviously in Aquila, there's one in the New Atlantis where you spawn, there's one in um, Porima, which is Paradiso over here. I'll just show you very quickly. So, you know, like the major cities all have ship technicians. You want to go to them all and speak to them potentially may have to buy a ship from them i'm not sure i've been buying ships anyway but i think you just need to talk to them to be able to get the parts that you need and i'm not entirely sure about this but it feels like when you go to certain specific ship technicians and try to modify your ships all the parts aren't available so i think if you go to a ship technician to modify in specific cities you only have access to that ship technician's parts don't quote me on that but i think that's why it is because i was definitely missing some things so I decided to come down to my planet and build an outpost. And when you're in your outpost, build a landing pad with shipbuilder. This costs adaptive frames, zero wire, beryllium, and iron. Not that many materials, to be honest. I just entered these on PC just to get them very quickly. But you can actually get these pretty much off the bat of the game within the first 30 minutes. So you'll be able to build this shipbuilder landing pad at an outpost for yourself. And then when you go into a, um, a ship build or something, let's just do this here. Delete everything. And then when we go to add, you can see that everything's available. The Dimos ones, all the way down to Hope Tech, all the way down to the Nova parts, all the way down to the Stroud parts. So I believe if you go visit every single ship builder in the game and you build your own ship building landing pad, you will be able to have access to every single piece of ship that you can imagine so first up you need to have piloting um rank three so that you can have this Z machine reactor and i think you need starship design rank two to have the weapons and i think some other things but i'm, I'm pretty sure it's starship design rank two if not potentially rank three but definitely not rank four so those are the things you need beforehand now i'm going to go through and kind of give you a little bit of tips and stuff with this because most people just point at the things and be like oh yeah just do this just do this just do this and it's just so confusing first and foremost let's just take this stroud cap a for instance we're going to add a new one just so just so you can see what i'm talking about um so it's in structural and we go down to what was it again i can't even remember stroud cap a wasn't it okay yep so while you're here and you have this selected um, in the edit section, you can flip it, which will change its orientation, but it's not always the same as you can see. If I just flip this to the opposite side, it's now actually pointing up. So you have to just keep doing it until you find the right thing that you need. So you'll see a couple of these Aculanda 11 landing gears. These are infuriating. It took me a while because nobody would explain it. So when you go into your Aculanda landing gear and you select it, you then need to start flipping it around. Um, so we flip it and it changes into the landing gear without any kind of port side or starboard angling. But it's also frustrating because in the build menu, it doesn't give you that choice off the bat. You have to pick the landing gear and then change it while, you, while you're flipping it to get that. And just for like a last little bit of a tip, if you're on PC or Xbox, you can either go over into the open space and add something. And it usually will just pull it on its own. Sometimes it will just auto connect to random things. But if you're far enough away, you'll be able to just add it into space on its own. If you don't want to do that, you can just aim at the little circles. So if you want to aim something to this side, you can just connect something straight to that side, for instance. But then if you went over to this side and did the same thing, it will automatically connect in the direction and functionality that it actually should. And then also as well, like if you go on top, it will only bring up things for you that can be added on top of this part. So you can really cut down kind of like what you're looking at and, and having to go through all the menus just by pointing where you want to add something onto a previous section. So we need here the Stroudcap A port for top with the landing gear, which I just spoke about. Then you need some structural pieces. 
Nova Cowling 2LPF and Nova Cowling 2LPA. Okay, just because you probably don't want to get to the end of the video, I'm just going to cut this in here. This section, I didn't flip properly, and it didn't occur to me that it was not in the right place. So pick it up and flip it until it looks like this, and then you, and then you are set on that side too. Now, one of the frustrations about shipbuilding is just like this um, landing gear here where you have to flip it to get to this variation. These cannot do the same. So if I wanted to make this go into this section, I can't. All I can do is flip it basically like horizontally. So once you've selected the TLPF and put it on this side, you then need to get the other one for this side. So if we go down to the Nova Cowling PF and then change its variant, you can see now that we have access to the opposite side. What you can do is when you're building the other side of the ship over here is you can just let me get rid of that you can just duplicate this side basically and then flip it over uh, but there are a couple of things that are different but these like kind of like structural ones you can do this duplicate it and then edit it and flip it and then you've got the one for the other side so you don't have to go through the menu okay now that we've got the cowlings sorted out we need the nova galactic storeroom one by one this shield here this is the starship design rank one so even if you didn't have all the other stuff you still have access to the shield we need the pro landing bay you need a landing bay to be able to take off we have the stroud companion way one times one with a 200 centimeter blast shield shielded cargo hold that's a lot of things to say next to it we need the nova galactic workshop two times one we've got an accu landing gear again you can just duplicate this one here and the engine is the white dwarf engine. You can multiply this three times because you're gonna put it all the way across. So I would suggest building this section first. What I did is I literally just started from the front, went from here to here, and just went backwards like this all the way through. Then also as well, you can add little decorations on like the porthole top over here. Um, again, if you go in and just aim at the top of something, then you can find in under structural porthole top. And that's pretty much what you need to do. Just aim at the top of something or the side of something where you want to aim it and connect it to. One more thing I forgot to put in that I'm going to add in here is the KE-42 auto cannons are what are attached to the sides, the Nova cowling. So make sure you throw them on as well. And I think I mentioned this, but on top we've got the auto neutron turret. And these basically all fire by themselves. You don't have to do anything. If anything gets close here, these will just absolutely wreck them. And then you have your normal laser to fire to. So yeah. Next up, we have the portal four. This is in the same place. You could just, again, at the front of this Stroud storeroom one by one, you want to go in and then you've got the porthole four just up here like this. Then we have the Nova Galactic Living Quarters two times one. We have the Z Machine 1000 reactor, another Accu Lander 11 landing gear without being port side or starboard and another dwarf engine. Then for this side, it's Pretty much the same thing, but you just need to do the opposite. Then we need the Stroud Cap A starboard for button. Now, I don't think this is actually in the menus itself. So you have to take this one here, edit it, and then flip it around until you get to the section that you can just click it onto there. Then, much like before, we have the Accu Landing Gear and the Nova Cowling 2 LSF. Again, you just take these two over here, edit them, and then flip them over, and they'll be on this side. We have the Nova Galactic Captain's Quarters 2 times one next to the Nova Galactic All-in-One Berth 2 times one a These are available, just go in and find them. The Nova Galactic Storeroom 1 by one another Accu Landing Gear with another porthole on top, and another White Dwarf Engine. So this is the base of the section. So you can go in, and if you hold Control um, or just click on everything with um, xbox you can just move everything and connect it over and if anything's lagging behind you just do that so now let's connect all these together um right you 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 and you and you i think that's everything i hope that's everything that's the bottom of it done now we've just got the top and the side section so over here we've got the nova galactic companion way one by one the Nova Cowling 1LTA, and then you can just take that, duplicate it, and flip it around to get the TF. And then we have the Viking CP100 cockpit. We take those and we slap it onto the side. On top, we have the Nova Cowling 2LTF with the PBO100 auto neutron turret, the Nova Cowling, which is in structural, and the Dimus Companionway, which is in HABs. You need a slim docker on top, which I'll show you as well. 
Um, then this is obviously just the same on either side. Another structural piece at the back, the 1LTA. And then there's our 2000 Alpha Grav Drive. So the Docker on top is in its own section as well. So you just go up here and go over to um, Dockers. And then same with Grav Drives as well. So you can figure out where to go and stuff. You want to take this and attach it to the section. Right, let's do this. Let's do this. Okay, that's everything. No, that's not everything. It's left, it's left something behind. There we go. And you want to stick that on top right there. Now we are set. We are done. We've got one warning, which I should talk to you about as well. At this point, you want to color it too. So you want to select all. Now, I don't know how to do this on PC to select all, but with a controller, you could just press LB and select everything. Then you can change the color. And then you just do color one, color two, and color three. Set them all to saturation to the left and brightness to the right to make them all white so they look fairly, fairly even. Unfortunately, the guns don't change color, but everything else will go to that color. When you are ready, you can press the like button to do a flight check. Now you might have here for like loads of these missing weapon assignment. All you do is just go over to this menu and you assign weapons to whichever like kind of key button you want to use them on. And that's about it. That is everything done. Now we can fly it. And here we are with our badass looking ship. I'm, I feel like this is on the wrong way because there's that like little ledge there. But still, if, if that bothers you, I'm sure you could find a way to change that. But it looks so goddamn cool. Now, unfortunately, as I was recording, I got caught up in a vicious dogfight and this ship just couldn't stand up to it because I'm a low level on this uh, PC account and I was fighting level 14 ships. I took out three of them um, and then got blown up. So, you know, it's pretty goddamn powerful as well as cool. And we'll have a look inside in a second. But these weapons on this, they either you can either fire just like your normal lasers or you have auto turrets. You, you can't actually fire the turrets. They're just do damage when things are close to you so you know one less thing to worry about i guess and if you wanted to throw an extra weapon on i'm sure that you could but for right now this is this is all we need let's look inside the ship now i've never looked inside this myself and i'm guessing it's going to be very complicated to run around um, but we got here the very first room that we go into that i'm stuck on something apparently we've got our nice little storage rooms i think this is the cargo room or just another little tiny room here i just said room about sixteen thousand times we got workbenches to use what's up here in this section is this just another little tiny room i'm guessing it is yep another cargo hold type room okay how do i get through to the middle this way wait what is this the whole thing can i not oh yeah <laughs> okay then we go this way we got a ladder going up we've got like a little kind of chill little room what's this way Oh, this is like a, a weapons cargo thing as well, with a nice little window looking out the back. That's actually a cool, if it was daytime, this would be a cool little vision. <laughs> uh, we go this way, we go through this door, let's see what's over this side. Just another little room. It's going to be pretty much identical on both sides. But I want to get to that side section over here that you add on to, I think it's on this side, yeah? Is it this one? Okay, now, now I'm just confused as to where I am. I'm so confused. Sarah Morgan's just teleporting around the ship. Okay, this is, this is our cockpit. That's good to know. So I'm only going halfway through the ship at the moment. Or did I get in? I'm so confused as to where I am. I'm so confused. It's a long, it's a long jaunt though to get to the bloody cockpit. It's a cool looking ship though. Honestly, I really do like it. And then we got this ladder that goes upstairs, which I think was just one single room, wasn't it? With some structural stuff on the outside. Now get on the ladder. So if you wanted, you know, one nice little room hanging up here, you can you can have it. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's one room. And that's it. That's um that's everything. I actually really like the ship. I really do. I think I might even use it, like build it on my on my Xbox account if I can. And you know, just just use it because it's pretty cool. I would have to put some better weapons on it though. But it looks phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. Look at it. I wish you could change the color of the guns to be white as well. Because that would make it just even better. Yeah, something like... I can't even remember what the Millennium Falcon looks like. But I'm sure this probably needs to be switched around. So let's do that now. And there we go. That's the end of the video. I hope that helped. I hope, you know, building was a little bit easier because I found it quite frustrating to follow a lot of tutorials. 
Hopefully I could have improved that for you. But if you get this ship, let me know what you think about it down below in the comments. And do, did you add any weapons to it to make it better? Because I think that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> anyway, thank you for watching. I've been easy now. You guys have been awesome.